some of the basics of how the solar panels work is there's two layers of silicone that are, are doped with a different chemical. And what happens when the sunlight hits it excites the electrons in one panel and forces it to move to the other. And that's where you get your flow of electricity. So there, there's a little dinky metal uh, plate on the top and then a big metal plate on the bottom. So the electricity gets pushed from one layer to the other, then goes out into the wiring that I have connected to my house, gets used up and then comes back through that top plate that's just real thin. It almost looks like wire on the top because you don't want to block your sunlight. And really, it's as simple as that. The first question, of course, that I always get is, how much does it cost? And it really varies per installation, of course, but if I want to do a ballpark rule of thumb figure, it's about $4,500 per KW. And that always leads to another question as well, what's, what's a KW? So a KW is 1,000 watts. That's about what it takes to run 10 hundred watt bulbs at any one given point. And then where the term kilowatt hour comes into play is that's if you use that amount of energy over an hour. So if we were to have a 1K solar electric system and then it would have full sun and full capacity, peak conditions and run for one hour, then you would have one kilowatt hour. One of the things that has to take place due to the interconnection of, of my solar panels with the city's electric grid is the city will supply you with a different meter than what your normal one is. Because I'm generating electricity sometimes during the day more than I use, so I end up getting a credit for that. So there's a need to measure the amount of electricity that's delivered from the utility to me and then another way to measure the amount that goes back to the grid that the, the utility receives. Right now has is, is been probably the best time there is to get into thinking about buying a solar electric system. The prices are the cheapest they've ever been and there's also rebates and tax credits available. If you want to look at the cost and how that impacts, you can take that 1K system and say that that was going to cost you $4,500 and by the time you add the $500 rebate Columbia Water and Light will give you and the tax credit which is going to end up to about $1,200 then you're getting your total cost down in the range of the $2,800. A solar electric system is really almost a no maintenance thing. Basically install it and almost forget about it. Water and Light has their own website specifically for all the programs that we offer our customers. It is ColumbiaPowerPartners.com and that's all one word and the partner has an S on the end of it. So it's ColumbiaPowerPartners.com. And if you go there, it's got all the information about all of our programs. It's got all the information about the solar electric as well. And you can look at the forms that you need to apply for the rebate. So it's all available right there and I would encourage you to go ahead and go to the website at your leisure and take a look.